back again. It is Sunday, November 11th. Yeah. Yep. So a couple things. My wife, Sarah, is going to have a YouTube channel, and it is going to be called A Blind Touch. Um, she is a massage therapist, but she'll tell you a little bit about it. Go ahead, honey. Tell them about your channel. Hi, I'm Sarah. I am a lights and massage therapist, and I am completely blind. So my channel is going to be about massage and bringing awareness to blindness and other disabilities, maybe. And we're going to go from there, and we're going to have lots of fun doing it. Awesome. So, guys... Here pretty soon, a couple days, we'll have a video, and Sarah will tell you her story, which is amazing story, actually. And another thing I wanted to talk about, we got some comments yesterday about uh, Justin. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, and so I wanted to clear the air. First of all, I own DLT Lawn Care. Justin works for me, and... We have a pretty good working relationship. I like to give him crap constantly, okay? <laughs> and uh, sometimes he gives it back, but more than others, he just laughs at me and says, you know, you're pretty much a, you know what. <laughs> so, uh, are we okay after yesterday? We're, we're always fine. <laughs> we're yeah, always so fine. I just wanted to clear the air on that. And the other thing I wanted to say is... Um, I have a friend named Barry Harp. Uh, he is a police officer in Grove City, Ohio, and we wanted to thank him for his service. So, you know, we really appreciate the police, what they do. I have a few family members that were detectives and policemen. Uh, my uncle was actually deputy chief of Columbus Police Department for 35 years. So, and also we want to thank all of the veterans for what they do. Yes. I have an uncle who was actually killed in war, World War II that I never got to meet. And uh, so we really, and Sarah's sister is in the Army. Yep. So thanks, veterans. And uh, we really appreciate you. We love you. And uh, we will definitely stand for the national anthem. So those are a few things. And I wanted to thank Jerry Jeremy Mulgans for helping with all the video work that he helps with. I'm not really good at YouTube, you guys, if you've noticed. But I'm out here trying to just show you what we do every day. And uh, today we're doing leaf cleanups. So we're going to get a little video. We got a really small yard. And, uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to say is uh, Nick from Saving Green, uh, He's got a, he has an employee, really awesome guy named James. Uh, we call him Sassy. And uh, Sassy, if you happen to stumble upon this video, we wanted to say we love you. And uh, we're all praying for you, no matter what it is. And we don't need to know what it is. That's, that's the most important thing. We just got to get behind this guy. It's an excellent, excellent employee and is an excellent person. More than that. So... Do you want to think, say anything about Sassy? Sassy, good luck, <laughs> and hopefully we'll see you soon. Yep, so guys, we're going to get uh, started on this one. We'll get a little footage, and uh, we'll be back soon. Justin, anything? Um, fire, uh, fire Clay Helton, <laughs> USC football coach. Fire him and the entire staff. <laughs> <laughs> First of many today. 
I think we're going to fill the entire trailer up with this yard. Right. We may have to go dump. Both do. <laughs> He's up there. He doesn't mind it. I don't like him. What? Part of the lawn care experience. This is how we work our day. The equipment that we're using is, of course, along with the Skag Cheetah mower. This is the, uh, it's the Grass Gobbler uh, Model 8200. It is uh, inside. It's gold-plated. Not really. And it's not an 8200. I have no idea what model it is. It's the Grass Gobbler.
Okay, guys, uh, we're allowed to leave the leaves out by the uh, road. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is what it looks like after. I didn't show you the backyard. I'm sorry if the sun glares. There's a lot of sun out here. This is the side. That's the side view of it. Um, we didn't have to do everything we did, but I, I wanted to clean it up a little bit. So this is part of the backyard. The backyard was actually covered. You can see we got most of the leaves. I'm sorry once again for the glare. Sun's out. You can see what the backyard probably looked like because that's the neighbor's property right there. So we didn't do too bad cleaning this one up. Oh, sorry about the finger. I really do not like uh, leaves, but you know, they got to be done. It's part of the business and you make decent money at it. So, uh, and by the way, we are filming on a tablet. We just don't have the money for a GoPro yet. Um, they're a little pricey right now, especially the end of the season. And we are saving up. Yeah, see, you can see there's some right there uh, that we didn't get. But like I said, the customer, she didn't want a complete, complete, perfect cleanup. So, and they do come by and sweep the streets. As you can see, the neighbor's got has his out there. But that's the after view of it. And the next one is very large. It's about a half an acre. So we have to head to the dump, and uh, we're going to the dump after this. Uh, go get the other truck, the other trailer, because we're probably going to have about three loads today. And uh, but we'll see you guys at the next yard. And oh, by the way, this is what we got out of this one. You can, if you can see in there, lots of leaves. So. See you guys soon. Hey guys, uh, we are getting ready to head to the dump, dump our first load of leaves, and then we're gonna go to the last yard of the day. We only had two today. One is really big, so it's probably gonna be about two or three loads. Um, anyway, just wanted to check in with you and uh, let you know what's going on. And we got the mower on back there, if you can see it. Say hi, honey. Hi. And uh, we're heading out. See you guys soon. All right, guys, we're back. This is our next project of leaves. Oh, it's so big. So it's probably going to be two truckloads or maybe three. What we're going to do, and I, I know everybody does it differently, we're going to blow them out of the beds, suck them up in the bagger, put them in the trailer. Yeah, there's going to be a lot. Um, the backyard is massive, so I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the entire backyard. So there's a lot of leaves. And... Uh, like I said before, I really don't like doing leaves, but it's part of the job. You can make some good money at leaves. And if you guys have any questions on if you're new and you've never done them and you want, you know, if you say, hey, Shane, how do you price it? Or now we all price it differently, I guarantee you. But uh, this year I started learning a little bit more on how to price these jobs. So. Don't do that yet, Justin. Justin, don't do that. I got an idea. So I'll, sh I'll give you guys an after view of the front when we're done, and then we'll take some footage in the back. See you guys soon. Hope you like it. There's a little bit more view of it. I don't know how much you can see. The sun is really bright today. Hey, guys, so here's uh, the front and the side. We're still working on the back. The homeowner here, 
Um, <laughs> he's back there blowing leaves with us for some reason. So apparently the price is a little too high, so he's going to save himself some money. But that's, uh, that's what we've got done so far. And, uh, whew. Yeah, I'm a little tired. We just drug uh, about five tarps of cut-up leaves out here, and uh, we're still going. So, probably be out here till four, but uh, I'll let you guys have an after view of it when we're done. So, we'll see you soon. Okay, guys, front is done. Uh, we're going to walk around the back. The wind was just fierce. So this was cleaned up. You can see we got a lot of it. The customer actually got out and helped me. And we tarped the back. So you can see the back, how it looks. And there's still more leaves to do. But he was very, very happy with this. And... I would have liked to do a little more, but he was happy with it, so if he's happy, I'm happy. And uh, so there's the entire property. And that is it. Justin, any final words? Oh shit, a train. Um, I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> obviously <laughs> or maybe not like, oh crap it's strange. yeah you gotta watch what you say right. so that's it for the day you guys we are heading home to put everything away hope you like the video uh, we'll probably skip tomorrow make one Tuesday um, but uh, we have to do another cleanup tomorrow. Maybe I'll show you a before and after of it. I don't know. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe. And we'll see you guys uh, Tuesday or tomorrow. Later, guys. Say bye, honey.